Hi, this is Ming Yao from Ozen Engineering, and in this video, I'll show you how to set up your brand new ANSYS license. Thank you first for becoming a customer of ANSYS and Ozen Engineering. If you're, if you've only, if you recently bought an ANSYS license, you'll get an email from licensing portal, no reply at ansys.com. Go ahead and click on the ANSYS licensing portal link. That takes you to this website. Now I'm already logged in. But if you haven't logged in previously, let's log out. You'll be required to sign up and log in. So just use the email address that you used to, uh, to, to purchase your ANSYS license and uh, sign in or register as, you, as it is required. And you'll, be, you'll end up on this page. So this is the ANSYS licensing portal. This is how you get your license file. I have many customers, so I'm going to look for those in engineering licenses. You want to go to Active Entitlements. And this gives you a list of all the licenses and the computers that's in the system. If you have, uh, as a part of the purchase process, you would have supplied us your license server. So I'm going to use one of the ANSYS training machines we have in those engineering. So find the host ID that you would like to activate. Here are all the licenses we have available. Click on Save and Generate. Hit OK. And this is going to activate all of these licenses. You can also obviously save an email that which will email you the license file. So this will create an ANSYS license file for these entitlements or these licenses for this particular computer, OZEN-Training01. Your computer will be different. And again, this is information that you provided as a part of the license purchase process. All right, we got our license file here. Show in folder. Double click here, and you can see this is the license uh, server name, the disk serial number, and all of the licenses that you have. Now, once you have this license file, the next step is to download the ANSYS license manager. For that, we go to support.ansys.com. Again, you need to sign in. This, is, this uses the same login uh, email address as passwords as the licensing portal. So you only need to do this once. We go to download current releases. Go to the bottom of the screen here, tools, and we're going to download the ANSYS license manager. Okay, this is downloading now. It's uh, a few hundred megabytes. Instead of downloading the licensing manager, I should have this already on my machine here. Okay, we have our license manager downloaded. We're going to extract and install. So extract all. I'm going to put it in, just leave it in my download directory here. And uh, it should be here now. So there's an ANSYS license manager. We go through the setup process.
Okay, it says here, uh, there's only one, uh, this is for the license manager itself. If you are installing SS products, you need to download the product and you want to connect that to the license manager. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. This is focused on getting your license manager set up. So we're going to install license manager. Okay, it says, you know, I'm uh, agree to this. That's the installation uh, directory. This is the Ansys license manager. And if I do next here, it'll go ahead and install it. So I'm going to kind of skip that because I already have it installed. Okay, let's go ahead and do that installation here. If you want to see what's happening, it shows you uh, the progress here in this little window. If you want to follow what's what uh, what it's doing, so it's unzipping a few things, installing. All right, so the licensing configuration is complete. We go to the next, and we exit, and it'll go here. So I'm going to check for my licensing stat. Because I have a license file already installed, everything is fine. Otherwise, we go to add a license file, pick that file we just downloaded, and then get it installed. So obviously my computer is not training one, so it didn't work, but I should still have my, uh, but if it did work, I would have all of my files installed properly. This is my actual computer here, desktop AE76RDB. So that's how you set up your license server. Now any computer that can, can connect to this license server can use these licenses to run as a simulation. Uh, on a Windows system, uh, the ANSYS license is served through uh, this particular port address and a few different... Uh, you need to open this port up to uh, in, in your Windows firewall and you need to allow a few uh, programs through the Windows, uh, through the firewall. So whether you're on Windows or Linux, either way. So we're going to do that by going into the Start menu. Oh, let's go back here, Start. And we're going to open up our uh, Windows Defender firewalls. Okay. Uh, first thing is we need to add 1055 to inbound and outbound rules. So I'm going to go to uh, advanced settings in my Windows Defender firewall, put a new inbound rule. This will open up a port uh, 1055. So we just need to open up this one default port, allow connections. Next, this is uh, ANSYS inbound. Okay, so that shows this here, and then we add a similarly added outbound rule. We open this up as well. This is ANSYS outbound. Okay, so that opens up the the firewall ports. Next, we need to allow certain features and apps through the firewall on your license server. Otherwise, license server have a tendency to block these. So let's go ahead. Uh, there's there's four in total, and Ansys has a video about this. Basically, they're, they're uh, these four files. There's uh, LM Grid, LM, Ansys LMD, Ansys Ally Server, and Ansys Ally Monitor. They're in the Ansys Inc. shared file licensing directory. So we need to add these into the exceptions. So here, allow apps, allow another app. We're going to go and find them. So this is all in the uh, Ansys installation directory. So we're going to go to the program files. Oh, C, program files, Ansys Inc. shared files, licensing. And when x64, so the first one is LM grid, this one. 
do an add uh, allow another application so you can just now pick out all of these answers uh, LMD this one we have uh, answers LI server uh, monitor and server so it's the server and monitor okay okay so all of so now I have uh, double check my advanced settings I've, I have opened up the 1055 port uh, inbound and outbound rules uh, I, I have right you can see there's a answers outbound here and answers inbound here as well somewhere answers inbound so I have both of those ports open I have opened up uh, my applications so that computers connect now any computers on my network can reach my computer and use this as a licensed server. So you're all done on setting up the licensed server in about 10 minutes. Thanks very much for watching this video. I'll make a, a follow-up video on how to connect your ANSYS uh, software to the licensed server. Thanks. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and like this video. Um, and otherwise, have a great day. Bye-bye.